feature, the, the functionality that I'm going to be presenting for today it has been released in NetSuite way back 2017, if I'm not mistaken. So this feature is about the, um, the ability to use corporate credit cards on expense reports. So before, when that feature was not yet released by NetSuite, what we do is we create a journal entry and then we create a write check. So it's a whole lot of process, but now it's much more simplified. And how do we do that? First, if you're going to be um, using the corporate credit card on your expense report, is customize the expense report form because that um, the fields for the corporate credit card is hidden by default. So how do we do the um, how do we expose those forms or oh, those those fields? So what we need to do is go to customization forms, transaction forms, and we'll look for our expense report form, which is this one. Okay. And then we go to screen fields tab, main sub tab, and then look for the account for corporate card expenses and corporate card by default. So you enable those fields. And the last field that you have to enable is the um, expenses or the uh, card field on the expenses line so i'd go to screen fields tab expenses sub tab and then look for corporate card okay so once that's done you go to transactions employees enter expense reports and while that's still loading the other thing that you need to set up is you have to have, of course, a corporate credit card by going to list. And it's still loading, still thinking. So you have to go to list accounting accounts. And then your um, credit card account, OK? All right, so let's just say I'm ready now to create an expense report and I'm gonna charge or use my um, corporate credit card that was provided to me by the company. Um, let's just say I am raising this expense report for Ange because she's one of the best um, consultants we have and she has, um, she needs to reimburse um, a charge that will be billed to the customer, but they've used the corporate um, card for this one. And also she will be um, reimbursing um, an expense that is her per diem, which is not in any way charged to, their, to her, to the corporate, uh, corporate card account. So basically showing you two things or two ways in your expense report, which first one is, you're charging an expense to your corporate card account. And then the other one is just simply um, a reimbursement um, to the company. OK. Next step is make sure to select the credit card account and do not mark the corporate card by default, because this field with the purpose of this field is that all the line items on your expenses will be tagged as a corporate um, card charge okay so if for example you want to reimburse another line or specific line to um that is not associated to, a, uh, to the corporate credit card then make sure to not untick this one or sorry not to tick this box okay. next step is let's say i'm going to be charging or and she's charging this expense report to a specific project which is the tower installation and this is for the airfare that was incurred. She went to Tasmania, let's say, for $250. Then I select my tax code. And then this will be billable to my to the customer. And then I'm gonna attach a receipt. And I'm going to tag this as corporate card. 
Next line is, I am going to reimburse my PRDM for this project. which is the amount that I incurred for my dinner because I went to this very lavish or posh restaurant. So they charged me $50 for the steak. And this will be the paper receipt and I will attach a file. which is the receipt from the restaurant. And this is not tagged to the corporate card. And then I will hit add. And purpose is corporate card. Testing. And I will approve this for the purpose of the demo. And make sure that the liability is set to the standard AP and not the intercompany AP account because this is not an intercompany transaction. And then if you will notice, if I go to actions to check the jail impact, it will post the credit account or the credit amount to for the airfare to the credit card um, account and then the, the uh, travel expenses to the specific account. So before, if it's not, if, or if it's just a standard expense, um, expense reimbursement, it, it will always hit your liability account, which is your AB account. But this time, because I'm tagging one of the line items to, as a corporate card transaction, then it's posting the, the credit amount to the credit, credit, um, the credit card test account. And for example, let's just say that all of these or this expense report are going to be charged as a corporate card expense. Instead of having or showing the make payment button, that button will no longer be available because in essence, it has been already paid by the company. So it will show as paid in full status. 